Oh, damn, this took a long time to get live this time around. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Was this the one that we wanted to play? Yeah, it's S I, I, Snake S, Snake Eyes Rescue Ace. Welcome, guys. We are starting. Today I had the the. I were in the mood to play some ladder games. Mr. Tristan Guy, Tim, uh, when you think we'll see Voiceless in Master Duel? Oof. Honestly, think that this will take a while. Ugh, this hand would have been bad going first. Also, this is this hand like going it's super bad going first and second. That's impressive. Um, when do we see Voiceless in Master Duel? Mm, I guess. That's why I don't think we will see it next month. I also guess we do not see it the month after. So I, my, my personal opinion is that we will probably see it. So n not the May pack, May, May in, in the summer, like July, June, July, July. Oh. Yeah, that's, that was a brick if there ever was one. And I mean, with those hands you don't even need to play because <laughs> I would need an insane top deck to even have the ability to play, right? So. Uh, the thrust. Now nah, we have an airlift on home summon. So that works. Welcome to all the guys. I quickly have to check my my kitchen smell. It's funny. Oh, messenger of peace. Why? I mean, we have the Duster in the deck, so nobody can protect this. Ugh, Messenger of Peace, so we can't attack. Okay, um, yeah, I guess this is okay. We can get rid of this. Should have obviously started with the Emergence in the draw phase, but yeah. Uh, the, the Wanted, that is. You find Snake as pure easy to play than then this variant. Yeah, I do understand that. I would definitely also say it's easier to play. Yeah. We lose a hand card. Mm. 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 Guess that's okay. Don't really want to lose the thrust. Uh, the Diabelsa is actually okay, even though it might seem oh, oof, and one of. I mean, getting the cards banished is not even that big of a problem. The fountain, right? It's so insane. So, I guess we go normal summon air left and we can dodge. Oh, it's a Solemn Judgment, or a Solemn Strike. If you can't activate your own summon effect, then it's always a Strike or a Judgment. Question is... Rescue... Rescue... I would... Might go for the HQ. We might be able to shuffle back in a moment, so let's grab the HQ here. Question is, is it a Strike or is it a Judgment? What happens if this gets striked? Now, nah, but what's my alternative, right? It's a judgment, right? Ah, yeah. Uh, been having issues with time with the rescue as variant. Really, with time? Oh. Uh, yeah. It's a bit unfortunate, obviously. Hmm. Uh. If you're playing a 60 card race deck, I'm curious to get your thoughts on mine. It's on MD Matters website. One with that grass. With grass? Oh, we can take a look at this. With the grass. Ah, yeah, this one, right? Ah, Tristan. Yeah, I see. So this one it is, right? 
<laughs> this looks interesting. I have not played enough of the 60 card variant to really give a good take on it, I have to say, but this looks interesting. Not quite sure if I want the grass, though. If I want to, like, resolve the grass, you know what I mean? But definitely looks interesting. What? Uh, how was your success with the the sixty card grass variant so far? Something that I also want to try out is there's this guy called Abo Mode, which is uh, he also also a YouTuber, but he's a very good branded player and always plays the sixty card branded list also up on Master Duel Meta, and he's just he's just a really good player. Um, and always tops any DK tournament and also the Master Duel Challenger Cup that I took part in. He also topped a lot. Um, that's something I'm really interested in. Um, check in. Now oh, we can't. Ah, we can't put a second Flambert Dragon here because we don't have a second one. Can we do it from the hand? We can do it from the hand, though I don't really want to do it from the hand. I guess it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I can also place an Ash here if I want to. I guess. It's a bit worse. So I, I'm just trying to play out this the pure snake eyes combo with this hand because this in theory is full combo. Even without two flame birch dragons should work. Taking the ash. Mm hmm. Maybe should have gotten. I need the oak though. Do I need the oak? Hmm. Because it seems to be the case that he does not have more interruptions. I actually made it to master a rank with Purdy this season. Yes, yeah, sure. I can totally believe that. Purdy is actually quite good at the current moment. Love the 60 card version. The grass was nice for setup. Okay. Don't own a grass myself, but when I play this 60 card branded version, or if I should play this, I will also need to craft a grass. Is it like. No, there's enough space. And so your rescue ace deck turns into <laughs> like a normal snake ice deck. Mm. Do I need the oak? Don't need the oak, right? I can go for the flame birch, but what's Am I, am I a bit stupid? Oak, oak revive. Ah, because you sent away the, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need the oak actually. Otherwise there's a body missing. I have not played through the normal snack as combo in a while. So that's what is confusing me here. Yes, please. Cause now we have the extra body, right? And I can send this away now and now it makes sense. And we will revive the guy so we can send it away now. What do we send this away for? I have forgotten the whole combo. Is it like an IP Mascarina thing? I have forgotten the basic combo, man. I guess IP Mascarina is the only thing that really makes sense. Titsuke can't do this uh, line anymore after the bandist is in effect. Yeah, actually it can't. It actually can't. Always take a poplar. So, I obviously need to get this one to the graveyard again. Where, when, when, I, when do I do the formula synchron though? Is there, is it even a... Formula synchron and... I'm missing a... What? No, I don't. Uh, I'm doing something wrong here, but I <laughs> can't really figure out what. This guy's airlift. Uh, interesting. Mm, this could go princess, then I revive princess with these, then I revive the flame birch. Flame birch sets the not. The, the IP, right? And then I have... Uh, then I'm locked here. Uh, uh. 
No, right, no, wait, wait, wait. Mm, no, wait. This goes to the grave and I'm... There is no... The IP is not part of this line, right? This is what I'm missing. Because... I need this. This needs to be new end board. In theory. Because this can resummon the... Synchron here. Now we go for the Emblem way. I think this is it. I think this is correct. Hmm. Do I get rid of a potential follow-up or Nibiru? I mean, follow-up? Do I... I have follow-up, so I keep the Nibiru just to be uber safe against whatever comes. Yeah, this looks correct. And then I guess... We summon out the formula Zinkron in the draw phase. And then we can react with it at any point. That's... There's a max C. That's okay. Wait, is it okay? So I go... I can change this now and then I give him one card, right? And the princess would also be a summon. Mm, that's annoying, actually. Do I want to negate this? So I would at least give him one card, and if I want to use the princess, I would need to give him another one. Then also my yeah, yeah, my resum. Now let's let's negate then max seeds. Otherwise, it's uh, he will get too many bodies. That's annoying. We will have another hard negate in a moment, so it's obviously not optimal, but it's okay. Yeah, you mask and rebound that to make formula. At the end, you can make elf with princess and formula. Oh, it's I hate this deck so much. What is this doing actually? Also, yeah, once per turn. Okay, I mean I can just touch this and make the baron anyway. So I guess that's an odd. That's that's okay. Uh, then you elf with princess and formula. Yeah, actually right because then I can reset, uh, resummon the formula, right? Yeah, you you are correct. That would have also been a good play. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which ones we take. I I just I just go the safe lightning storm route here. And then we can also get. Hmm. I guess the ash back. Um. Sure. Which is for maximum defense ability here. We are doing this. Mm, we have an airlift. Oh no, I've dropped the airlift. Oh yeah. Um, I can get back the... Yeah, but then I can't use it. So this into this. Mm, or do I just grab an hydrant? I can grab the hydrant actually because this g brings me to the rescue stuff. I have an airlifter to get rid of if I need to. But I mean this should be just game. I think this is very important. Can this do something from the grave? Well, you control neither player can activate. Leave sent the equipped monster to the grave. I'm going to negate this. Um, the combos with the elf. Yeah, I, I, but I always did the combo without the elf. But you you might be right there. Oh, yes, another water arabesque. No. Oh. That's okay then, I guess. And then we turn once okay it turns the baron to the extra deck which is okay this is okay can't I target this the equip monster uh, you can well, if this card is well, it cannot be destroyed and you want to test why can't I Why couldn't I Promethean Princess this, if the card is not equipped? The equipment also can't be stopped by card effects. Yeah, okay, that's one thing, I guess. Ah, uh, this actually does make a difference, I realize. But I can reset the... This Flame Birch Dragon. Which is always nice. 
Welcome to the new guys. I mean, sure. Sure. So I made an Amblowe and you will make an Elf. Sprite Elf. Yeah, sure. This also works, I guess. How How is the new meta for you guys? Big brand theory. Huli makes it so you can't target me. Kankos with card effects. Ah, okay. That's that. I only read the first line of the card and then the effect. The summon effect line. Good to know. Never really dove deep into the Mikanko cards. Kashtira Unicorn. So Nip can be good against Kashtira, but also it can be bad. If this is even Kashtira. I mean, it's normally, normally this is always Snake Eyes. And they always have Unicorn and Norman Summon Ash. For some reason. Ah, it's Kashira though. Okay. Kashira rice hard. Oh my god. This is a 60 card deck and it's banishing the one original simple spoils. And now my hand is... This is a dead card. This is a dead card. I mean... Yeah, not totally, but... This is bad. And he doesn't even play into my nip. Great. Great. Kaiser Coliseum. Ugh. And, and, and a nice one off the contain. <laughs> this one looks over, but yeah, let's see. So, how does it work? I can't summon, right? If there's one or more monsters in the field of the control of this card, the opponent cannot place a monster on the field if their number of monsters will see the number of monsters that are on the field of this card's controller. Okay, so I go thrust into Duster then. I also have an evenly matched. Oh, nice. Awesome. Now I have nothing. Yeah, I mean the duster. Now I can like bonfire grab something, but yeah, this is over. Kashtira stun. Yeah, works I guess. Yeah, the, the the thrust needed to go through to grab me the duster there. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Kaiser is Kaiser is crazy. The OCG is, is playing Kaiser right now in the in the Fire King, in the pure Fire King deck that has risen in popularity over there. I mean, this works. Not against an Imperm, though. Horrible cards in my hand, besides the talent. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, then it's pretty... Pretty easy. Grab temple, talents the hand. If I can. Oh, so this is also okay. Though the temple would have been nah, actually would have been good. It's okay though. Let's let's look at the hand. Maybe we can grab his starter. We can't. Ugh. Oh, this is just full combo. I mean, this is a bad normal summon, so we leave him with that. This is bad. I guess this is the best one. Because this is the one getting him into like the ash. So right now he has to play with the poplar. And poplar, yeah, it can also search the temple, right? 
We could have we could have said this just to confuse him. I guess. To fake an imperm. Or the evenly matched in theory. I mean we can The problem is that we don't really have follow up. We have an evenly match, that's not bad. But not a lot of follow up here. Let's see what, what the guy does. So you do this, 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 and then you have to send away this into Oh, Cree summon. And we have a Kurikara. If we could draw a good one card starter like the airlifter or something, that would not be wouldn't be bad. Interesting. I would have come for the oak, I guess. But I mean you can also go for this one and then thin your deck out of another hard draw poplar. Which might be better now that I think about this. This will not be the most impressive board. This should not be OTK. Because I've not played Snake as in, 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 in such a long time, I'm not even aware of how many bodies you needed for the Zealantis OTK here. Now goes for an Oak. Hmm. You can do that, I guess. You are into Nip anyway, so... And once again, thins your deck out, I guess. Flame Birch. Alert. Mm, okay. How are you guys liking the new update? What decks have you crafted? Have, has any one of you crafted branded Chimera? Because, I gotta be honest, I have not seen a single branded Chimera. I haven't played against one. Which is crazy. I was aware that this would not be the most popular deck, popular deck, but I didn't think that this would be that unpopular. Too expensive? Baron Camera? Yeah, it sure is. It sure is quite expensive. This is only 7-6. You haven't seen one either. Just a bunch of lab and masters. Yeah, lab is actually amazing. The other thing is that the Brandon Camaro they can't really compete with all the other stuff that's out there at the current moment. And the pure Brandon is also just better. I guess even he matched this uber bad. <laughs> now that I realize this thingy here but now we can just wait and draw a card to see what we get I guess you make yeah just uh, an amblo whale this looks bad we would need a very good kurikara to get this this done and a good top deck here that's the top deck that that at least works. Let's see. Maxi.
Droll. Droll would be funny. I've not seen anyone playing Droll, actually. Even though it's not that bad at the moment. Might we be able to kill him potentially? Uh, it's, it's so long ago that I have made, uh, I've done this kill combo. The Kurikara could actually... Might help us here. Let's 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 try. I I have to remember how the kill combo worked because he doesn't have that many interruptions. Uh, yeah, now it's impossible. That's so lame. Sure. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's very unlikely that he does not draw into any hand traps. So we can tribute these away, and he might at some point use this special summon effect of this one. Which would be nice, because then our Kurikara is actually quite strong. Why we summoned in RTK? What do you mean? Our own monsters? On last turn? Or what do you mean? On this turn we summon Artica because we want to, in theory, attack. Obviously not with the Poplar, but... It obviously doesn't make a difference if I summon this in defense or not. Hydrant. Is that any good? Not really right. Do I even want to set something? Not really. Problem is that I have to give him so many cards here in order to get to a good point. Life points are not real, I guess. Don't know what you mean. Cause I mean, I could have I could have summoned the poplar in defense position on the first turn if you mean that. That's true. But the idea was to grab the temple, and the temple then would have got gotten the the poplar the attack boost to make him, I think, one seven right, and that would have been okay. Wasn't really aware of the fact that he would affect Vader my um, poplar there. Yeah, the game is gone. So... In this case, I'm not a fan of a maxi draw phase because we actually need a card to have some plays. So I would rather force him to give me at least one free card. The Diabelle Star uh, sleeves are actually nice. So he has the original already. Oh, he has a dear bell star. I will assume he has the original. Ooh, Royal Finnish Linkoreo. If this ever gets banned here in Master Duel, the guy We'll have a great time. By the way, I will have to do this after the game. I forgot until now. I have to to um, to decraft the ban list stuff. I've totally forgotten. Sending away the link, Uribo. Very interesting. Not sure if this is the right play. Sending away a body. I do disagree. 
Whatever was that? What, what was what was hit on the forbidden list? I have to check this out on Master Dudometer. It was Nadir's servant and stuff like this. I think it was one or two ultra rares, right? Nadir's servant, Kashtiwa unicorn. Yeah. Servant and unicorn. Okay. We we'll have to do this after the game, otherwise I will forget. That would be a bit bad. So with an evenly matched and a, th a thrust, this might not be the end of the world. I'm also very interested in seeing what Decade will leak today. Very interested in seeing what will come to us in the next pack alongside the Salaman great stuff. Definitely hoping for the Fire King stuff. Ben Kurib won't bring back Hulk. What what was the deal with uh, this uh, Hulky Firebrax guy? Because when he was around, I was not playing, so I don't know what he actually did. What did he do actually? It was like this. Couldn't he? Wasn't this, it, it like this this line that summoned this XYZ aircraft thing or something? Hopefully Horus comes along with Salad. Um, as far as I'm aware, Decay already talked about Horus not coming in the May pack. So this might not be not be what's happening, unfortunately. I'm also very excited for the Horus stuff. This will bring Tealament a bit more back into the light toxic stuffs yeah i heard about i heard about the hulky fibrex toxicity he make mecha phantom beast so easy hulk was the best link monster ever did everything yeah viking was the last release of uh, the year there was one more pack between uh, that and agov yeah, there was the um, pack that brought us um, Centurion, but they they don't always follow their own like release cycles. So, Blah. I mean, it's actually not even that bad. Mm. Go ahead. Because we can just normal summon and search and then thrust into... And so I'm assuming, this is why I don't activate it first right now, I'm assuming he keeps a monster on the field. Um, he has follow-up, right? So we can go normal summon the Hydrant. What are we thrusting for here, actually? Because he can just generate follow-up. This one is also a problem. We could steal it, but then what? Steal it, link it away. Imp, um, Linkuribo is in the grave though, so Imperm doesn't really help us. Hmm. Hmm. So we go normally Hydrant, Hydrant, Search. I guess Hydrant can search one of the traps? Question mark. Do we just go Talents and take away or something? Here's the problem, we can't really stop it. Right, so we could, we could just, no, it's someone. We could just set an imperm and then search a trap with the hydrant, because that would force him to. He can't only. He can only. Oh no! He, no, that doesn't work. Uh. This one's over, unfortunately. We can't do anything here. We can't do anything. Maybe you can do Poplar Line with Bonfire. I'm under Max C, so yeah. Giving him more cards will also get me nowhere. The problem is that he has all the follow up that he needs. Cool card does not matter. Steel, yeah, steel, and then what? 
steel. Steel also doesn't matter, unfortunately. Nothing matters here. I can grab follow up. And then he, he goes like original and grabs another snack eye ash. And then we die next round. Once again, the rescue is deck not feeling amazing. Hulk would summon a tuner from hand or deck, then I think on Vanish it could summon another tuner. Yeah, it was the Aurora Dawn thing, right? The Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Dawn combo. Yeah, and now with some airlifter, uh, imperm, and turn. Ooh, no imperm there. Hello. That's sexy. That's nice. Very nice. Goodbye, my rescue ace airlifter. The turp. Yep, I don't feel good when you use that rather than snake eye. Yes, yeah, snake eye is just seems just to be way better. We have a temple, but mm, doesn't really get us anywhere. Extinguish. Alert! Rescue! Emergency! Shuffle! So... We go Preventer. As we are on three summons now, I guess we we will just keep it like this, and then just temple for a snake eye ash. Yes. Send it over. Rescue ace is cringe. Play purely. <laughs> Yeah, if it uh, continues to be this bad, then I will for sure change that up. Hmm, do we make C here? Nah, it's okay. Ooh, Manarium, Skeklaw, Rykard. Huh. Hmm. I mean. Do I just flip the guy face down? Because if I flip the guy face down... I guess firstly I will activate the temple because if I flip the guy face down then I might as well also just get the snake eye ash out because then I have activated a monster effect. Question is, yeah, we can do it afterwards, it's okay. I will let this go through. Because now I, have I, I want to activate this monster effect anyway so I can just do the ash now. It doesn't really make a difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what? Eight? I did he have eight cards? Am I am I stupid right now? Ah, he draws because of the defense stuff. That's true. That's true. Maxi. I forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, if uh, there are three monsters in defense, you can also draw a card. Ah, then it might have been better to not do this, right? It's okay, though. He would firstly need an extender if I flip this down. So This is not the end of the world. Obviously, flipping this down c so he can't make the Link 1 Scareclaw guy. Mm. 
So if I kill this, this won't come, right? Could target uh, destroy it if you do. Okay, then we are just going to um, kill this thing. Why you don't activate Max C? Because there's nothing that. There, there's not a card that is special summoned. Right? Whatever he wants to special summon, I will see, right? So this is like. I will special summon now. And now I can activate my Max C. I could just contain the guy. If I contain the guy... So first, yeah, I should have contained him first then, I guess. So if I contain the guy, um, he can't be used as a link material or he can't link. So what what would he need then? He would like... Was, Visa Samsara needs Visas in order to special summon. He would need his Scareclaw... Scareclaw guy? But what else could he have? Nothing, right? I will contain him. Might be a bit risky, but let's do it. Oops, yeah, that's right. This is also a thing. I, f I totally forgot. Oh, yeah, this is also a thing. <laughs> okay, I have to play it against my Nadium in a while. <laughs> Excuse my misplays. Ash, 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 ash. I was just about to say that they could have a Reum. Yeah, yeah, uh, I have not seen Manadium in a long time. I'm totally unaware of everything they can do. Apparently. But I mean, he's under Maxi and... I don't really see him killing us, to be honest. Though the deck can bring a lot of like raw attack power to the board what's a bit unfortunate here is that so I, I might not maybe it was a bad idea to summon the poplar and i actually could have kept the poplar in the hand so uh, i wasn't thinking at the moment should have kept the, cop the poplar in the hand because the rescue would have still been alive and we could use the rescue at some point plus he would not have gotten a additional summon an additional card from the poplar that was not clever Yeah, uh, Super Heavy Samurai is the most cringe deck of out of all of them, right? I'm I totally agree. Super Heavy is just. Did you read the new Max C like card? Do you mean this? Do you mean the? Um, uh, I read this new card that your opponent sends away monsters, and if they don't, they discard their entire hand. This quick play spell? Do you mean that one? Nibiru would be nice, yeah. I think there is a Nibiru in this deck, if I remember that correctly. Though I'm not 100% sure. I mean, now there's a Baron, so... Or there's a potential Baron. There should be a Baron now, in a moment. Let's see whether he can kill us. I figure he can, right? Go figure. It's called Malt Chami Purulia. Ah, okay, I, this was just um, revealed. <laughs> oh, now I draw the nib when he got the Baron Negate. Awesome. Perfect. I know I have not read this card, but I will definitely in a moment. Oh, let's read this together in a moment. Oh, give me another hand trap that I can use to do something here. No, I don't want to nip. What could I even draw? I think there are effect veilers in here, right? If I remember this correctly. I also still have my rescue in theory. Nah, let's see. Peron got banned, yeah. Just crazy that Peron de Fleur really did get banned. I wasn't expecting this at all. 
She was along for such a long. Uh, she was around for such a long time, right? It's such it's such an old card. The opponent is also playing against the timer. There comes the astral out. I mean, now you will pop something, right? That's nice. So he pops this one. He has to pop this one, actually. We could also... What can we then rescue from his graveyard? Is there anything that is important? Could go emergency. Let's, let's activate emergency. Maybe he negates this and thinks it's important or something. Doesn't take the bait. I mean, we can grab another turbulence. That's actually nice because then if he destroys something else, turbulence can destroy something. So he needs to get rid of the turbulence, actually. Giving him another card, but that's not that important. Destroys this one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Manadium can actually clear bodies quite easily. But this is still not enough, so... Still nothing. Crimson Dragon. For the Disparter. But I mean... Oh, there's an Impulse. Now oh, we can't use it. Our board is full. Should've put these in defense position, I guess. This was not, not super clever. Tier Lemons Planet now. <laughs> the guy. Ah, uh, funny. Yeah, but I mean, what else does he have, right? He needs to get the visas into the grave to do another Astrolaut. He can't kill me, right? Or can he? <whistles> Meow. Come on, do your thing. Whatever that is. Sure. No, oh, bonfire. With another Astrolot, another Chaos Engine, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there's also the Time Mod Factor, right? So. I'm Ritara. I mean, is there not an effect value in this deck? That I can grab or something. Like phobia. <laughs> has he not activated? He is not activated. Like phobia as of this point. That's insane. Can I activate rescue, please? Is this enough then? No, right. I could just rescue the Star Frost. I could also rescue the Astral Loud. It should work, right? The Ast I can't. Ach, but it was properly summoned, right? But I mean, I could grab the Star Frost and then he can't make another Astral out. Is this GG? Why? Oh, yeah, there's the negate. Nice. Hmm. Don't even need to nip now.
Vicious. I mean, props to the guy. He did clear. Oh no, I give him another card. This was stupid. Yeah, but Esparta can... Actually, yeah, true. That's right, Esparta can also negate. But on the field, right? Ah, that's right. You're actually right. Oopsie. <laughs> Forgot about this father. Yeah, true. But I mean, at some point I will... Is this effect Vader? No, right? Okay, that was jet synchron. Go ahead. Yeah, even yeah, in the hand also I just realized. Duster. Wow, I have not drawn a single hand trap besides the nip. That's just Huh, I could summon impulse, but I mean will he negate this? We can try, we can try. Maybe he negates this. I don't think so. Then we give him another card as well, but it is what it is. We can also try to... No... Talents... I thought he was going to do look at the hand. <laughs> that would have been funny. That would have been really funny. Ah, Nibiru! Ah, so we can't use this part after all. But why? Mm. Can do itself. I will have to read this. Yeah, couldn't he have just 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 used the this part? Huh? Maybe he put the... Uh, what, maybe... So here's my theory. Maybe he put his toggle thing on off, so to save time. That could be the explanation. Uh, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can target from vanished card, shuffle into the deck, then you shuffle into your deck, destroy and shuffle into your opponent's deck, negate there. Hmm. You can only use each effect once per turn. Okay, so I guess... No, he didn't use this part, huh? So I guess I guess he he had this he had his um, toggle thing on off, which is why he had no option to use this part. This is what I think. There's one Veiler. Yeah, toggle off. It's toggle off 100%. So mm, I will have to decraft a Kashiwa unicorn. Uh, where is the unicorn though? Must be farther up. There it is. If I def if I dismantle this one, I maybe I can dismantle this one, right? Um, and then what was the other card? Not your servant, which I also, for some reason, have three of. I don't know when I pulled three Nadia servants that I did never didn't ever decraft but I've got three of the card Nadia servant where are you mm -hmm, there yeah bonus money mm, this is everything right the other ones are super rare so I don't care coolio coolio uh yeah he could have negated yeah yeah he toggled off that was that was funny here's by the way the new card mucho mulchami purulia if you control no cards quick effect you can discard this card apply these effects for the rest of this turn each time your opponent normal special summons 
a monster from the hand, immediately draw one card. During the end phase, if you have more cards in your hand, then the number of cards your opponent controls plus six. Shuffle random cards from your hand into the deck equal to the difference. During the end phase, if you have more cards in your hand than the number of cards your opponent controls, plus, plus six, plus six. So if your opponent, okay, let's say your opponent, let's, let's talk about a realistic end board. Your opponent has, I don't know, let's say seven cards on his end board, or si six or seven, right? This is realistic. Well, this is actually a pretty full board, I guess. I guess I guess six is six is quite realistic. So six cards, right? And you have six cards in your hands in your hand. So you could have drawn up to six more cards, and then you would need to shuffle stuff away, right? Huh. Interesting one. Actually someone wrote here, and I think this is a good point. This is a balanced version of Maxi. Yeah. Yeah, it's obviously a weaker version of Maxi because this this doesn't count special summons from the from the. I mean, this counts also for a normal summon, which is nice, but this doesn't count special summons from the the graveyard or the deck actually. So it's worse in 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 this sense, and then obviously worse in the other sense. So your opponent could, in theory, play do a few summons and then stop. But I guess this works kind of like the same as Maxi, right? Which is actually funny. So TCG is getting its own Maxi. Obviously in the OCG you will just play Maxi because it's better than this here. But for the TCG it's a new Maxi. Interesting. Yeah, Maxi 2.0 basically. Open room, bro. What do you mean? The better Maxi. No, it's a worse Maxi, obviously. But for the TCG, it's a good Maxi. I guess this will definitely see, see some play. The game just does not want us to play a lot of, like, Rescue A stuff. Though now we can. Hydrant. Yeah, this works. Gamma's me. Ashing this doesn't really get me anywhere, right? It's okay. I will just one for one then, I guess, because could could let this go and then the poplar will get destroyed. Poplar reset. I mean, hmm, yeah. Hmm. I never really like to to ash to ash like the gamma. This always seems bad. Maybe the Osa. Ah, this is obviously the worst case scenario. So we could go emergency, but whatever we get here, we would also have to send away. So. Doesn't really make sense. Uh, I guess the OCG will just, will just keep them XC, and we in Master Rule we keep them XC. And this card is not uh, so this would be so. In theory, if I imperm this and he doesn't have an ex Oh, this was not the normal summon. No, okay, okay. No, then I don't do it. Then just go ahead and take your Takatomborg. I guess then I just imperm whatever. I mean, still, this is normal summon. This is a monster negate, right? Or something, something negate? Ugh. Ah, but wait. Once per turn when you perform a monster effect, you can detach. Okay. I always draw the driver when you use gamma. Yeah, the, it's the same. Same with me. I also always draw the. Um, I also always draw the the driver. Ah, let's see. We have the imperm. Might we be able to stop him? 
Although I guess it doesn't really matter because this one's still alive, able to negate us next turn. Though we would then draw a card. The first one I've seen. What's the first one you've seen? Let this be the end. Okay, it's it's the end. This one is obviously annoying. Oak. Does this is no this no this is toys and then the effect uh, this could actually this is actually nice because the oak's effect then. The second orchid effect I can still use. Okay, you just didn't. Yeah, because now we draw a card and then I can still use. Nah, depends, I guess. Ah, okay, nah, it has to be a good card though. We draw a card and then discard a card. 12. Oh, it actually works. Oops, <laughs> stupid. Oh, come on. I mean, do we go Lingo Ribo here? I guess why not? Uh, we could just, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. So we have to survive another turn. Hopefully, he has nothing. So then we have a normal summon airlifter. That could work. Right? Is this like, do you play this together with Chimera? But why? Oh, this is a fusion, this is bad. This is bad news. This is the baddest news. This is the Chimera. Oh, it's Garua, huh? Okay. But he will be able to you can target and special summon. special summon the what now? Ah, the illusion swords, and then he can go for a combo. Yada yada. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Gossip Shadow, the new anti nip tech for the TCG. Yeah, maybe. Hey, we we were one one win away from being at the bottom bottom of Master Five, but now we are there again. I don't want to call this deck trash. Maybe it's just me. But it feels kind of trash. Not gonna lie. Yeah, exactly right. Shadow can't really be played by a lot of decks. No hand traps. Just a Kurikara. And once again... Let's see, let's see. If this one goes horrible again, then we will just switch over to Purdy for now. I'm sick of Rescue Ace. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I expected more from this deck. I will quickly get, like, a brat. Be there in a sec. Oh, it's rescue ice. Oh, that's bad. That's bad for us. It's the ace that rescues stuff, people, persons. Rescue ace. I guess we lost this. Bad moment going second, like have not having any hand trap. Yeah, it's that's 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 my experience with Rescue Ace throughout the entire release cycle of this in Master Duel. I never ever have any like combinations of hand traps that get me anywhere. The deck is just garbage. Can I return it? Can I re 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 recraft the cards, please? 
If you use normal summon on Ash and have no other rescue ass cards, how do you proceed? Normal summon Ash. Then Poplar, Poplar, go search. Uh, you would need to have an extra rescue ace card in the hand to discard with the um, barricade blocker, for example. Or you would need to, yeah, and then you can search your turbulence and you have the hydrant and then you can make the barricade blocker the link to this one here. This one. And this can discard a card, so you could discard another rescue ace from your hand. Then, oh my god, I will never break this. And, um... And, um, oh, nice. <laughs> okay, this could then actually work. <laughs> this is actually then, okay, okay. Okay, we draw the one out card. Yeah, then you can discard and you can make the turbulence. Though you could also just, um, just play the snake eyes line then, if you have the ash, right? Impulse, okay. I mean the 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 bot is still good, right? Okay. So Kurikara for the heat soul it doesn't really work, right? So we have to, I don't know, force this at, at least. Yeah, impulse. Uh, go ahead. If you bet for Kuru, you might have him. Yeah, yeah. I will read Travis. I will read, read this hate comment for Rescue Ace in a moment because I feel the same way. Um, I mean, we could just add this one and if we can discard it somehow. But if he ashes my bonfire, I will go risk. We might find some way to use this as material, as a discard material. Then again, obviously, nah, mm, oh, he dropped the ash. So he has another one, okay. Yeah, then I will be ash now, I guess. Mm hmm. Uh, then I have to Kurikara now. Yeah, it's not. And then he can flip down, and we don't have any more plays. So this was a high risk play, that's for sure. I can just flip this now. He has to flip this. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, it was a bit, that, this was a bit risky, I guess. But, I mean, you could have used the Ash for the original simple spoil, so, whatever. Anima. Oh, I do run anima. I didn't thought of the anima. Where was the preventer? Was it in front of the anima zone? No, right? No. Uh, <laughs> so now the rescue ace thing. How was rescue ace top tier in OCG? Man, deck is so bricky with all those unplayable traps and special summons that need other cards to even be activatable. Yeah, I also really, I don't know. It's just not good. It just feels bad. It just, oh, I don't want the shifters anymore. This was just a joke. This is not even funny anymore. Yeah, I don't know. This guy is just ugh. I hate. I hate it. I hate it. GG. Thanks, man. Oh, should have played in draw phase. But um, it is what it is. Little kitty catties. Imper and turn. Nice. That's okay. Effect value we can work with. Hmm.
Mm, I mean... I need to draw two cards. Ah, these were bad. This is bad. So, happy memory, drop the imperm for another black cat. Black cat, this one. Upgrade. White cat. Gamble. Could also gamble with a white cat. Nah. That's not right. Mm. Yeah, I mean, imp, um, what, uh, what else can we do here? Nah, we don't gamble. We just go black cat. Little black cat. Yeah, sleepy. Yeah, this is sometimes what happens to Pearly, right? Sometimes you have these boards that just are useless. Kind of useless. You could say. <laughs> Kim, what do you think of the new Max C? We have just read the card. I think it's the new Max C for the TCG. It's actually quite good. Yeah. For all the other formats, you don't need it, op uh, obviously. <coughs> Sorry. Kata Bosliere, hi Tim. First time seeing you live. A nice content, by the way. Hi Kata, nice to have you here and uh, thanks. I'm glad you enjoy the content. I haven't played Pearly in so long, I'm nervous to take it to the ranked. Mm. Don't be. It's not... LOL. <laughs> now he can't use the Iris Sword, so right? Ah, this is such a... This is the weirdest card in, in the whole entire game, this one. I'd never ever get this. You think they will uh, ban Maxi and replace it with a new card in Master and OCG? I do not think so, no. Honestly. But we will see. I think this is more a TCG thing, but might also be a, like a more fair version of a Maxi. So I will just now wait. So during the main phase, if a monster whose effects are negated is on the field, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay. Do you go ahead then? Oh, ah, wait. Wait, 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 I want to drop Maxi, I want to drop Maxi, I've made a mistake. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Mistakes were made. Nah, I forgot that Ecclesia can just special summon. Yeah, there's a new Maxi basically. You can go on Master Duel Meta and read the card if you want to. This needs to banish a worm, right? Or a sword soul card. Oh, I have a sword soul. Do I just spin this now? Sure. Let's do it. I mean, if he has like the Moe stuff, then he has the Moe stuff. Sure. And obviously, this is a worm, uh, a sword soul card to reveal. I feel like a lot of people aren't prepared for Pearly on ladder, especially because not that many people are playing it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I mean, the thing is, if you have never played Pearly, then you also are not really aware of what it does. That's also a good thing. 
that works in favor of the deck. We have a lot of hand traps in here. We also have Nibiru's in here, so... Oh, might be able to draw into that. Yep. The cats are back. Yeah, unfortunately with the rescue stuff, this deck is so ass. I really hate playing it. I really... I do not enjoy this deck. Not a single bit. I really want to try this branded, the 60 card branded list though, and fail with it. I'm a horrible blended, branded player. Yeah, it's definitely fairer as 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 is than also fairer than the the uh, currently. Oops, once again, play indoor phase, existing Maxi, Maxi's me in the standby phase. Okay. Oops, should have done this. Oh, I'm, I have to pay a bit, a bit more attention. Mm. This is not even that bad. It's a bit unfortunate that he has done this in the standby phase, so the talent is not alive, but... So I'm just setting up the negate and then we also can... Yeah, so I'm... Because this is a normal summon, I don't really need to pay attention with the street. We just set up the negate and then the trap and we can also put something under the negate. And maybe find another hand trap. Probably won't need this. Probably not two of this. Not two of this. Hmm, yeah, maybe, maybe, I guess, mm, yeah, this one also. Yeah, Maxi for sure, right? It's just too good. Pearly is not the worst deck under Maxi. Okay. So I could have drawn another card, but I think it's more important to have the negate effect live. Snagger Ash. Because obviously it's extremely nice being able to negate the Snagger Ash. This negates the whole entire thing. So that's amazing. Let me think for a moment whether I want to drop Maxi here. I mean, he would basically need a Diabell Star to continue. We could also upgrade now, but we can wait with that. Nah, it's okay. If he has a Diabell Star, then I lose a card. Who cares? Talents. Hmm. Take control. Yeah, so I mean, I guess he's not playing a Zeus, to be honest. Yeah, I just let him take this because if I upgrade this, then he just takes my big cat, and that's worse.
So now we have two bodies. He could make any link plays. Peter, Dark. Do I drop the Maxi now? I mean, I can drop the Maxi now. I don't, I'm not sure what he wants. I will drop the Maxi here. Because I don't need the Maxi to create follow up. I already have follow up. I have this, this, I have the. My friend. I hacking missed Pearly. Yeah, I also missed Pearly. I really like the deck. When the Rabbit Collection 2 comes out in the GCG, I will uh, rebuy the cards for sure. I've played Pearly before in the TCG. Um, Lambstar, you love the vids. Awesome, man. Thanks. I'm very glad that you do. Hey, bro, how about Punk Kashiva? Still worth it or not? Not the biggest punk expert, I have to say. I never really liked the deck, so can't really give you a good opinion. Kata, I like that everyone now plays Rescue Ace. It's much more fair and fun to play against a Snake Eyes. Yep, that's for sure. <laughs> I was just thinking he goes like Snake Eyes Ash sent this away and both are negated. I don't mind going against Snake Eyes. I have hand trap to stop them, but yeah, when they build the full board without drop because it's a scoop. Yeah, it's unfortunately it's that. Yeah. <laughs> you dismantled the pearly cards and regret it now. I do understand this. What are we doing here? Like IP? Yeah, okay. Okay, this is okay. Do we want to play in draw phase? I mean, he could then not go and play this one. But I mean, if we play in draw phase, now nah, we play in main phase because of the talents. At least there's a secret back now. Yeah, true. Mm, ugh, that's that's annoying. <sighs> yeah, in that case, in that case, I will, I will summon cats, right? I have summoned as many cats as I can. Because now the talents... Mm, it's not that useful anymore. Other way around, I guess. No, it doesn't really matter. No, actually, no, it's actually... No, it doesn't really matter. The snake I follow up is... A bit of a problem. Uh, okay, at least. At least there's a card. Hmm... I love Pearly, it was my first meta deck, I was so close to dismantling them. Ha, <laughs> good that you that you didn't. Yeah, but I mean, it, it was clear that Pearly, uh, I mean, the, the Pearly support coming, uh, it was like a clear thing, I guess, so. I guess people could have anticipated that Pearly um, would still be a thing. Is Pearly a linear deck? Um, yeah, somehow. OTK line? I can't OTK him. Especially not under Maxi. I can't OTK him because I have already... Um, the, the only attack position monster that he has is the Mascarina and he can just... Link it away. Oh no, another one. <laughs> okay. So, thing is, what are we doing now? He can still go a unicorn. This is a bit problematic. I mean, we can just go my friend now, play a bit, add something else, another cool spell. The problem is that... I guess a sleepy... Oh yeah, we have to pick three, I forgot. Ah, sleepy and then these. Wait, we can actually... 
Oh, he does, he does this now. That's interesting. I think this is incorrect. I guess this is a un one up. I guess this is an Appaloosa. Yeah, okay, Appaloosa makes sense, right? But, um, doesn't Appaloosa have the front arrow? Anima, I can't place Anima here because... Doesn't her... Th she has a front arrow, right? Okay. No. Mm. Ah, I have banished the anima. No, okay. I mean, I could make a Zeus and clear, but what would that accomplish? I can just negate both and then. Yeah, the anima also would have not make it, made a difference, so... And the problem is he has follow-up. The follow-up that I can't stop. So, this is it. I just He just negates this and then... Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. We don't need to... We don't need to kid ourselves. Snake Eye is just the better deck. Yeah, but I I had not enough effects to bait all the negates from the Appaloosa, even with the Anima. Because then I would, I mean, the Appaloosa would be on zero attack, but I would give him another card. Yeah, it's like that sometimes, yeah. Just how it is. Ah, once again, I always forget the draw face thing. No, it's okay. It's not that important. Hmm. 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 Feels bad. It's too good. Could you chain block somehow? Mm, no. Because I only have the. No. Because the monster effects I would want to activate are all spell speed one, right? Anima. The two cats. I can't. There's not a single quick effect there. Hmm. Do people ever use the expertly happiness? Um, no. Because you don't need it to kill. It's less effective to use her than it is to use the other happiness cat. Do I want the delicious memory at all? I mean, the delicious memory could actually work. I have a lot of um, quick ray spells in the hand. You don't want to go for the delicious memory if you don't have any quick play spells. He plays T elements. Is that the T elements field? A field. Okay, let's see. Pearly is is not bad against T elements because you can reshuffle the T elements cards back. Now oh, there's a max C. That's that's annoying. Hmm. Actually, no. Actually, it's not that annoying. Wait. Let me just quickly think. It could be a problem if there is an impermanent effect that you can use on the Pearl Lily. Otherwise, we just let this go, then upgrade, and then put everything under it. No, I guess it's okay. So getting imperm to our Veilert here is a problem. And he, I saw something there, but this was just a maxi. Okay. Then that's okay. Which one is the more important one? Pretty memory. Do I want to put this under this? It would be then a 5 material. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Making it 5 materials is... is important.
That's quite nice. This board works. Oh, oh, I forgot about the fact that we will have five cards under that without the beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, now we have six and we can spin three times, so that's also relevant. So it's always relevant. Happiness can sometimes be good to OTK. Sure, sure. Sure she can, so don't get me wrong. It just turned out that everyone was using the other cat because she's very effective. And the thing with the happiness is it's also an ultra rare, right? So <laughs> it's cheaper not using her. That's also a, that's also a thing. I have to pay some attention to your resources, I guess. Come on, give me like an effect bailer or the max C. Ah, oh, there is it. Um, do we drop the max C here? Oh, it's always like, I mean, I will activate this in the main phase, will this in the main phase? No, that's okay. Go go and play your game first. Kashiro Unicorn. Okay. Hmm. Rave soft. A mm. mm, few different ways we could do it. I mean, if I activate this now, I could just ash this, right? Do I drop the max C then afterwards? But I mean, if I ash it, he can also steal this. Now we are we are spinning this. Cause if he can, if he steals, now nah, he couldn't couldn't have stolen, I guess. Hmm. Do we drop a max C afterwards? It is Kishira. And I mean, if this forces him to just pass the turn, I guess that's all right. Yeah, yeah. I could have also made an argument for not max Cing, but I guess. Oh, we are playing as Joker, actually. <laughs> I know the guy. Yeah, mm, it searches the rice hard, right? Maybe he has a, like a birth in the hand. Mm. Yeah, let's just let's ash this. Can't really imagine a world in which he has like three Kashira monsters that he can now special summon that we can't spin. That's very unlikely. He's normally a branded player, I think, Joker. Once Unicorn is on the field, it sucks. Yeah, it's true. Talents take. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is obviously a bit, mm, bit problematic. It is what it is. Nobody knows it's Kashtiba. Ah, it could also be Vanquish Soul, that's right. I guess it's not the Snake Eye stuff, because that would not run the reinforcement. I mean, now he can't use it as a Zeus thing. And he can't summon any Kashtiba monsters. Oh my god, it's T-Elements. You are right, whoever said this. But this is not... That bad. Depending on how far he gets. Because the Kit Colors would need to summon something back in order to be, like, dropped to the graveyard, right? So, can he even summon... Uh, did he needs to summon something from the graveyard, right? No, from the hand also. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, I, I thought he would add the trap. Okay. Uh, this was this seems not bad, but I think hmm, is there another T-Elements monster? There is not, right? And this would add back a banished one. Mm -hmm. Or is he still deciding whether he wants to activate Rhino Heart? The unerwartet. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You were right, my friend. If he links away the kit, will my... Sorry, there's a hot 
my friends still work? Mm. Good question. If I face a pearly XYZ monster, you control leaves the field. No, it would not, I guess. Because I don't control it. Even if it goes to my graveyard, obviously. Though not 100% sure if it works that way, but I, I'm pretty sure. I guess the thing is he can just kill me, right? You can also put this in... No, you can't put this in attack position. I think it does. Really? Okay. Maybe. Don't think so. I mean... Lol, here's another one in the hand. <laughs> Crazy. Are you running D-Shifter? <laughs> I was running D-Shifter a few days ago, just for fun, but I... I've stopped running D-Shifter. It's it's quite fun, right? But it also hinders yourself. Let's not get get confused here. I mean, Pearly can actually play the Shifter, but it's also not pretty. Might link it for Sheep. I guess he sh should stop summoning at some point if he wants, I guess. But maybe he can also kill me, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I guess, yeah, maybe. We'll have to see. I mean, mill 8 is actually very strong. Let's see what he gets here. I'm missing the T elements format a bit. I liked it. So nothing. No on the screen. Scream to add trap, right? Mm hmm. Okay. The cool thing is that if you can establish the field spell, then and he would he still needs to get this off the field. If you can establish the field spell first and not normal summon this thing here, then you can never ever use either this or the trap. Come on, guy, what are you drawing here? Crazy. I think he kills. Yeah, okay, uh, with this one he kills, yeah, yeah. With, th with this one he probably kills, mm. Without this one, not. I mean, this one is just bonkers. Obviously. Heartbeat. Meta noise. Is this also a targeting trap? It's also a targeting trap. Telemans got me on my new phone account this month from Rookie to Master 2, so T is still strong. Yeah, it's actually, it's it's strong, yeah. And it's also a fun deck. What is that abomination of opponent's board? <laughs> it's Telemans Pearly. He made he made a, an ex Pearly Noir and then and went Telemans Fusion then. Man, I mean, the Pearly deck feels way better than the Rescue Ace deck, but still we are stuck here in Master 5. We are stuck. Ah, we got a Nibiru. Okay. Normally that's quite nice. Ooh, Pearly. I've seen someone play Tear Pearly. Yeah, I, I, I've also seen this uh, in the past, right? Mm. I do remember this. <laughs> yeah, it was Super Gamba. I've, se I, I've also seen this back in the day. Mm. Most people just FF when they see Tear. Yeah, but that's not how I roll. We might be able to use this Nibiru. It's not likely, I would say, but it's also not totally unthinkable. Let's see. Quickly grabbing the water. <coughs> Pearly. 
Tear just simply refuses to die even after Konami tear all of its limb apart. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's definitely a, not a super unfair deck at the moment. Tear or Labyrinth gets easy wins because they surrender fast, yeah. I had this in the beginning with the when the Diabellstar came, came out, this was quite fun. Diabellstar came out and then I was like, Diabellstar special summon and the people were like, I'm giving up. Didn't reveal a sleepy memory. Did he, does he have a sleepy memory already? We need white cat to, uh, to three, yeah. But I mean, it actually doesn't make that big of a difference. Two or three white cats. There was a time I was playing in the TCG, um, the deck with five normal summons, only two black cats. Um, the thing is that rarely ever do you summon triple white cat, right? So I think that's that's the thing with a white cat. It's not that useful at three. Mm. The guy is summoning a lot. Mm, could definitely see him playing into the nip. Because he needs to go black cat. And then, do you really want to leave these two on the field without making them into an XYZ? I don't know. I guess the bad thing is that if I nip him, he gets all this spells back nice 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 i mean we have to do this we have to we have to do this now it's a no-brainer isn't this five isn't this five yeah we have to do this now i don't want him to activate this effect No, he gets two cards now. That's annoying. It's 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 crazy how this uh, this Nibiru XC interaction actually works. <laughs> so many cards to the graveyard. <laughs> they can't make uh, a mate and then leave her at two. Come on, yeah, I guess they can't, right? So you don't like race that much? Oh, I hate the deck. It just feels so bad. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm I'm not playing it correctly, but it feels awful. Goes into a plump, fair enough. I mean, the question is do we even continue to play here? Because I don't have an out for a big cat. And this will be a very big cat. Gotta be honest, guys, I think we can save, uh, save some time here. Keep trying new builds of lab, you will definitely find one that suits you. Yeah, I would also say lab is actually amazing. Really cool deck. You're stuck in platinum as a lab player. Yeah, maybe it's just maybe you play the deck incorrectly. Because normally you should definitely be able to get out of platinum with, with labyrinth. It's strong, especially now. Are you playing the Unchained Labyrinth variant or the normal one? Mm. In this case, I would rather go Maxi draw phase. Cause it's not super clear that I will activate the Nibiru. So it's not guaranteed. Plus, 
I have enough cards that play the game already. This card is so wild. And this is this is the magic of Rescue Ace. Into Maxi. If he now has a normal summon hydrant, that would even be even ah, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy Swayze. Yeah, an impulse, why not? Why not an impulse? Uh, I guess we are done. Man, these games fly by. We just can't get get a few wins to stick. I mean, maybe I can uh, I can get the field spell down or something. Will he summon the Preventer though? I guess you could. Giving us one card for a Preventer. But yeah, you can also make an argument for not doing that. Oh nice, hard draw field spell. So I guess I guess we normal summon and just take one of the interruptions out, right? Because what else would we do with this cat here? We could also discard the cat. We could also discard the cat. Otherwise, it's just. I mean, it's still material. It's still material. Let's just let's just let's just get a negate out here. Would be even better if he doesn't negate this. Uh, where do you stop race, by the way? Imperma turbulence? Turbulence normally. Though it depends a bit. If you can anticipate that he has enough material to make like a sprite elf, then you might want to do it earlier. Because if he can establish a sprite elf, then he can protect the turbulence. Sure, this would have happened anyways, so go ahead. Can this summon a uh, preventer? It can, right? Oh wait, uh, I just realized that I cannot activate any white cats now. Isn't this the card? Okay, this is the other card. Okay. Still a problem though. <laughs> yeah, I, I just now remember that the other trap is able to, if it destroys, it can... Um, it basically says that you cannot activate any more cards with that exact name. Which definitely could be a problem. Did he set an emergency? He did, right? Mm. Which means he can get rid of this attack position monster here. You can't XYZ with it, right? No, you can't. I can't, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to bait the interruption. It's okay. Mm. Oops, I didn't want to activate it there, actually. It's okay. I just wanted to go delicious into black. And then... I mean, it's still happy. It's still the happy. Maybe as an Ash. We still want to... I want to force him to leave... To, like, get a, get this thing away. Field spell good hard. Yeah, field spell is just, is just so good against Rescue Ace. Let's But I mean, the amount of follow-up he has is unfortunately very good, and mm, there might be Kurkara. This this seems to be pure rescue ace, though. There might be Underworld Goddess, though. I remember this matchup from back in the days. I guess we're grabbing the trap because we have everything else. Hmm. Do we even go for the happy memory is the question. Or would it be better to go for the delicious mm, thingy here? No, I think it's happy memory. I guess we are dropping the trap also.
Dropping the trap for another party. Yeah, I think that's okay. Kugi Gaga is incoming. Yeah, I don't think so. I, th I think the pure rescue as variant does not run it. He could have done the other trap on this one and then I would not have been able to do this. Ugh. That's ungreat. Mm. Uh, this is a tough one because I would want to add this also to the cat. <laughs> Yeah, come, let's, let's do the happy. My only win con is that he does not have um, a goddess on, and a Kugi Gaga. Otherwise, it will be very problematic. Anima, hmm. Nah, no, not really. Let's not do it. He needs to use the emergency, but I think he's aware of the fact that he has to do that. Oh, I, ah, I can't detect the... Uh, that's right. That is right. I forgot about this. Totally forgot about this. The other problem is... There's actually a problem that I have not thought about. I will have to attack in this defense position monsters here. Which means... You can also chain in between. Um, I guess I should have gone for the delicious cat. Yeah, this. I would have been safe from this chaining in between stuff. Yeah, he's aware. He's aware. That's that's sad. That's sad. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. The TCG bandit was a meme. Yeah, it was a strange one, I have to admit. I also f think the TCG the Banis was a bit strange. Mm, can he chain... I can't. The problem is that he can't chain another thing in between. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I. I don't know. If the if the people know what they that they have the chain in between, then it's really tough. Because whatever I do now, he can just extinguish the pearly here, and he will do it. He is aware. He is aware. Oh, I'll just rescue. Yeah, this also works. I mean, we can we can make a Zeus, but this is not even a good Zeus. And he can extinguish the Zeus. And we can chain, and then he has follow up, and we do not. Yeah, unfortunately, this is also done. Should have done this a bit differently. I should have. I should have gone for the for the for the big the the eating cat, the plumpy. Uh, the new Benis is what people wanted, though. Baron and Savage finally going to sleep. Yeah, it's very really very interesting without the without the Baron and the Savage. The Benis was shit except for the floodgate bands, but they gave us new ones back. Yeah. Different ones, floodgates that are less easily easy, less easy acceptable, um, accessible. God. I I have to say I also think the banished was quite okay. Well, I'm also not at at war with the banished. I also think it's 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 fine. Let's go for a round of unchained labyrinth. I just want XC on MD, bent on MD, so the top man chain sometimes, yeah. I don't know. Maxi bent on MD will probably never happen, I would say. Mmm. Chandraglia 
Imrik, mein Junge. Oh, I'm not familiar with Testina at all. I am going to assume this is very important. I'm going to assume this is the core play that the deck that the deck wants to achieve. Okay. Change that monster to face down, defend, then add one Tessina card from your deck to your hand. Okay. That boss monster is Nibiru. Ah, this is normal summon then. Okay. And now? You can target one Tessina monster face down, you can turn it to your hand. Okay. Do I imperm this? The problem is if I use imperm now, then I can't I can't set a big welcome labyrinth because I definitely want to keep the Ariana. Hmm. You could target one. Uh, is this worth? Is this worth imperming, guys? Let me know. I don't know the Testina stuff. Or do I do I rather want a big welcome here that I can activate next turn with my Ariana into Ku Clock? <laughs> because the opponent also had no idea what was going on. <laughs> nice. You can target one, destroy it, then you can add the Cena card from deck to your hand. Hmm. <sighs> okay, go ahead. And the CCG pots are mostly free, it's another reason it's a bad format. Yeah. I've invested in the pot of prosperities. Don't you don't you make them bad? Doing a Mavis, you can trade as many monsters as you. If you go, you can switch this card from your hand. Okay, I'm still Maxi, my friend, but you do you. I think you imperm the one that rises from the grave. Maybe. I mean, now it doesn't matter. Now I have what I need, basically, but okay. Okay, so I have to read here. Play of the Testina. Special summon is from your hand or graveyard, but returned. Okay, and this one does. You control Testina monster, you can special blah blah blah. Doing your opponent's turn if you control Crystal God Testina, so which he does not. Is this in the graveyard? Is not in the graveyard? Can this summon from the hand? I forgot. Ah, yeah, okay, so the God is in the hand already, right? He added this, right? This is. What What if I imperm this then? Um, is this cool or. Wait, because of uh, quick fact, you can change uh, if you control. There, if you control Christine and got Tina, you can change the monster upon to uh, face down position. Mm. So. Is this during the main phase, right? During your opponent's turn. Hmm. So, what. If I just imperm this in the draw phase and then this is not live? Question mark? Is that is that something I should do? Because I already have the big welcome, right? Then I can only not use my chandelier now, which is a bit sad. Hmm. Oh, let's do it. I will do it like this. Don't even need to do it in the draw phase, I guess. If I'm aware, if if I'm correct here, that that's basically let's let's imperm this. I don't know. Check the related cards. <laughs> I'm not going that deep, guys. Is this like... Have I interrupted their core play now? Or am I just dreaming about it? Ugh. Annoying. So this one, this one away. 
Uh, no, I basically have to normal summon this, right? Oh, I can't. Yeah, that's also right. Uh, oh. Wait, I could discard this card, but I can't discard this then. Uh, I'm stuck between a place and a hard rock. Nee, rock and a hard place. <laughs> mm, so what now? Yeah, I guess we're going. Chandraglia. Bye bye. Doing a main phase you can send. What are we destroying? You can normally. Did we destroy the field spell, right? Doing a main phase you can normal summon in addition. So. If I understand this correctly, I wanna know this can revive this guy and this guy can then get the field spell, right? Uh. Hmm. Let's let's cook something together here. This might be a loss, but I will sh I will still be. We okay. Let's try something. What would be the most effective trap I have available against this? Actually, yeah, this was clever. Okay. It's already bad. I mean, we can imperm this. Okay, now the god thing is there. What can this do? You control, then you can send all your opponent controls. Okay, if this card is to swap an opponent's what? Card, you can change as many ones as you control. Open control is phase, and then you can send all phase. Okay. Uh, everything here sounds unamazing. This sounds bad. Are we getting rid of the god of the Destina? Right, we do, right? So. Oh no, this can be impermed still, if I want to. Oh. I actually want to summon this. Eradicator for spells? Yeah, I can't. Because um, he has. Nah. He has cut me off of this trap setting thing. Otherwise, I would have done that. Destroy a card in your opponent's hand. No, that's 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 not the play for sure. Question is, is this one better or this one better? Or we can imperm this. I will destroy this one. I don't know. Let's just do some stuff here. Sure. Ah, this can be special summoned, interesting. Question is, is this a card that we want to like imperm? Is this a like a very important card? Okay. Is this, do they have like a level six, uh, level three XYZ? Mhm. Mm mm. Uh huh. Is this everything that he does? It's just draw one. Go ahead. Draw one is okay. This one is like the more important one, right? Because this can set a rank up spell. 
Yeah, this one I will imperm. Not sure if this is the thing. But it's the thing for now. What? What's this? This is not a new card, right? By using uh, each material, if this card will destroy a card effect, you can teach a from this card instead. Once per turn, you can teach the negative with all phase amounts your opponent controls. Okay, so useless. Oh my god, this is just a Zeus. Oh, okay, it's this guy. What is this guy? What is this guy's thing? Once per turn, you can target my turn your graveyard into your hand. Okay. Okay, so this is the attached thing. Okay. I mean, it's unfortunate that we will lose all the... What? They can attack directly? Why? Can they all attack directly? Uh-huh. Oh no, it, it was while your opponent controls a face down defense position monster, right? Or only face down defense position monsters? Okay, okay, I wasn't aware of this of this thing. Okay, crazy. <laughs> I learned something about the Testina today. Okay, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Damn it. That's the gimmick. Ah, okay, okay. Man, this deck is crazy strong. No, no, I'm just making fun. Okay, I guess we go for one more and then we call it a day, to be honest. Um... I've I've gotten enough of an ass kicking for today. My ass was kicked an appropriate amounts of time for today. Oh man, this is bad. Ugh, if this is just full power snack, I would just scoop. I mean, that is not that bad. F this, I'm out. Yeah, it's one of these days. It's just one of these days. Just go ahead and play Snake Eyes. That's that's what I've learned today. By the way, how awesome is this wallpaper? I never buy wallpapers, but this wallpaper, I'm also I'm also not like the Monadium fan, but the wallpaper is just. It's just something else. It's just something else. Yeah, guys. That's it for today. Thanks for being here, as always. Glad to have you here. This is like... This is this, this is the new card, ne? Vida... The, the, the Pendulum card, right? And um, Visa Starfrost turns into this at the end of the journey or something? Like this? Isn't it like this? Ah, this is the art from this card. Loka Samsara. Aha. Flame Birch wallpaper. Yeah, I, I also love the Flame Birch wallpaper. That's for sure. But this one is just beautiful. Where's this pendulum guy? Is this the new one? Veda Kalanta? Veda. Yeah, this is the one, right? The guy here. Veda Kalanta. Yeah. Guys. Have a great evening, enjoy the day, and we will obviously see us tomorrow on the channel for most likely the new leaks. Um, yeah, I wish you a great Sunday, my friends. Um, have a great one, and we will see each other in the next one. Bye, guys.